Welcome back to part 11 of my crunch game. In the previous part, we continued to have quite a few children with our wife. We actually have seven now, uh, one of whom got the required traits for us to strengthen bloodline. So I'm kind of thinking about uh, eventually trying to play this youngest daughter of mine, who would be the very last one in succession. May or may not go through that with that. We'll see. Um, our, our liege was having some problems. Uh, we have a, a new liege now. This carling fellow has managed to uh, get the throne back, although he's imminently going to die, and it looks like his eldest son is a leper. So it might get a little bit unstable here. Uh, we've been developing our land as well, kind of just focusing, playing tall, not expanding too much. I am still planning to, at some point in this game, become at least a king. Uh, probably not ever going to be emperor this game, if, if we're being realistic. Um, it's kind of disappointing how it's gone in some ways, just in that Europe has been a, a complete mess basically the whole game. Uh, but I'm just kind of chilling in my little corner of the world here. Uh, looks like our shrine just finished, so this guy's actually going to start getting us some money now. 0.6. He'll spend his gold building more buildings, which will in turn make him even more. Uh, it's good to get that underway. Got another temple coming in three years as well. Uh, so when this city finishes, we can build another keep here if we want. So my eldest son has gotten content. So we're going to have to find a way to get all these kids out of line of succession, basically. Um, we're waiting for monastic communities five years. That's going to make these elder sons, or these younger sons, excuse me, um, take the vows quite easily. They're, they're further down the line of succession, and we're going to have this established. Uh, it's not going to be in time for, like, our, our eldest son here and whatnot, so we'll have to figure something out with them. Some of them might take vows. Uh, 2%, yeah, no. How do you feel about it? He's third. Yeah, we can get him 90%. Uh, might just go ahead and do that. So this is going to cost us some of our legitimacy. So I'm going to have to preemptively um, kind of combat that. Uh, we're still doing fine on it. We don't really need that much. But hopefully just keep hosting funerals whenever I can. Um, speaking of which, let's see if there's anyone we can do right now. My cousin? Sure. Trying to keep my army up to date, get knights whenever I can. Uh, it's looking pretty decent right now. Could make an accolade as well, I'm sure we can uh, recruit someone who's good. I like to get a blade master uh, and make him my accolade. You're pretty old, but you're actually in a house. Let's just see if anyone's uh, interested in you. Probably not. Oh, okay, he'll do it. He's the wrong religion, though. How about this guy? Yeah, that's perfect. Wolfram. So this is what I like to do with my accolades. I find a guy with Legendary Blade Master with the two stars. They have to have it all the way up. Uh, and then I make them this special Blade Master type. Uh, would we go for the secondary... I don't know, more heavy infantry, contender, stalwart, travel safety, army damage, sure, whatever, that's fine, uh, we just go with that. The champion of Crane, cool, good for him. Uh, and having the Blade Master Knight will often give you the Blade Master trait and give your heir it as well, that's why I really like to do that one. Not that we've been really making much use of our army this game. Uh, but you never know when you're going to need it. Okay, this is really interesting here. What's going on here? Looks like Italy has broken up. Looks like they got hit with an independence war because just some random parts have uh, become independent. Um, this is actually 
kind of like an area that we want. Like obviously I, I, I want this piece as well, but this is kind of interesting right here. Uh, for whatever reason, he has the Duchy of Provence, but he has no kind of land in Provence, so I'm, I'm not sure how he got that actually. Not too bad. So it will recruit someone who can actually uh, fulfill that, which is quite rare to have a, a two-star legendary blade master. So we'll be able to keep recruiting one every time some someone dies. Okay. Yeah, I'm tempted to get that. I'd be one over the limit, but that's totally fine. Oh, I keep messing these up. Apparently, she's already on managed domain, so we can't really get any more from her. Not, not that twenty-six stewardship isn't already quite a bit here. Uh, we will get plus one domain whenever we become a king, so that's useful. Also, with the uh, legacy tree that we're going down, although we're not getting renowned very quickly, we will eventually get one domain limit as well. Uh, I believe we already have the one from this era, the Scavalcand. I don't think there's one in the second era anymore. Uh, and then the third era, I think you get another one. Or maybe it's the fourth. Yeah. Additional building slots. Building slots. Domain limit plus one. So yeah, they've they really kind of made it more difficult for you to hold uh, so much land here now. Uh, who are you? I have so many kids here that I can't even keep track of them. Okay, I'll let you raise him. Uh, so we're focused on our youngest daughter here because she's the one who can strengthen bloodline. Uh, so we can't t t declare war there. I'm gonna fabricate a claim on that little piece of land right there. Uh, this, yeah, this just feels like uh, an area that I'd like to expand to. These two might eventually try to take this one as well. Um, you know, I, I can always give land away to um, sons or whoever. Like this is its own duchy. We could always just let our let, let one of our sons hold that, and then disinherit him if we end up playing our youngest daughter. But I've just kind of been uh, playing the game without any vassals. Basically, obviously, we do have our mayors here and whatnot, but no no count tier vassals or above. Not completely sure if I'll stick to that my whole game here, but for at least the meantime, I'm going to try to do that. Holding one over the limit, I think, is fine. Two can start to get punishing, so I think I'll go for this war here, and then maybe we'll make something happen once I take this one. Uh, she looks like she's having trouble. I'm rooting for her downfall. I don't really want the uh, Orthodox to start spreading. Like She's been holding on to it long enough that you can see the conversion's actually already starting to happen. It's kind of annoying. Uh, the Asatru's take forever to spread their religion, and it's even happening a little bit up here. It's been Asatru here for very long, and still they haven't converted anything. Old Vitalist. Vitalist. Okay. Um, I don't think the Pope has access to Crusades yet. Kind of been waiting for him to call them. Looks like Croatia was actually successful in taking some of this land here, which is interesting. Uh, it would be super cool to be able to uh, just holy war for kingdom. Like, how about that? The, the thing is, that that's basically us uh, just giving up our little tall game here, though. Otherwise, I would probably go for that. That's a really cool war that I think would be fun. Uh, it would be cool if he would call a crusade for it, though. Um, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so this is our would-be heir. She got the beating for her very first <laughs> event here, trait event here. Uh, so we'll make her shy. That's unfortunate. She got life reaffirmed and she's hale. So hopefully she's uh, sturdy enough to survive childhood. Uh, here's our first son being finished with his education. He's actually got a lot of diplomacy. 
could give him this job. This guy's actually still pretty young, though. I'll just throw my son in there. A little nepotism. Uh, we grab Know Thyself. I think I'm just going to hang out here still in Learning Lifestyle. We will go down to Scholar. Uh, and then see what's what. The other option is coming in here to help hold more land. I'm not sure how long that would last us though. By the time we get down here it's going to take quite a while. Uh, our next character will not be able to hold this much land anyways, so we would have to give some away at, at some point. How's this going? we got three more years. So he gets temperate. He's second in line. 48%. He's still maybe willing to do that. Uh, this guy just got a negative trait. Okay, let's just start getting some of these out. So he said no. Um, we'll try him. This isn't the... Uh, you know, the be-all, end-all. If they say no to these, we're, we're still going to be okay. Uh, so we got one son on the line of succession there. How are you doing? You don't even have a trait yet. How do you feel about this? Okay, he's he's not into the idea just yet. Okay, so there's me gaining Aspiring Blade Master, thanks to our Accolade. Um, I will raise you, since I have room now. Uh, yeah, so the son gets it. Whoever's your heir gets it. I got it as well. I think I'll just go for this war right away here. Uh, he'll marry at some point and might get an ally, so it's just easier to go for it right away. That's really going to annoy me not to have this piece of land after I do that, though, so I'll probably have to do that right away. He gets impatient. Okay, not what we wanted exactly, but this will this will establish before he's uh, an adult anyway. Okay, so what's going on here? Fellow vassal, the Duke of Bavaria is saying we're going to fight against our king. I'm thinking of saying no to that. I, I don't see you having the support to get that done. Uh, and he wants to marry my daughter. Thing is, once we get all these sons out of the line of succession, um, she's gonna be our heir, not our youngest daughter. So if I just get her married patrilineally to, like, this dude, we'll have to disinherit her. So it's either that, or I have her take the vows as well, which she's probably willing to do, so I, I should uh, really just consider that as well. Usually I don't even consider having my daughters take the vows, but might have to with her. There you go. <laughs> Dedicate yourself to God. Um, yeah, let's just go and get this. Guess he's going to be cautious and avoid us. against my daughter Zorka. No! Kill any other child. Don't kill young Zorka. She's innocent. <gasps> my wife has been murdered. Who would do such a thing? Okay, so she's <laughs> she served her purpose at least. She provided us with uh, seven heirs, one of whom is good enough to strengthen bloodline, so maybe we just find a more um, functional wife here <laughs> with massive stewardship. That's basically the best thing that we can get, right? Uh, she's actually got two traits and only one less stewardship, so maybe we go with her. And then in the event that we do have more kids, uh, they might actually be pretty good as well. Yeah, what if we did that? We lose 300. It's quite a bit for, mar for marrying a lowborn. You know what? Married a lowborn. I'll do it. And now, with her unmanaged domain, we're actually at 7 out of 8. So now we can hold uh, a whole another one. 33. Well, that's pretty damn good. Your supposed becomes even better when you have the uh, loyalty and respect perk. Unlock skills from spouse or vizier counselor task. Plus 25%. I guess it might not be that significant, but still, it's not nothing. Not sure how much extra that's giving us. Um, 
Um, we should start fabricating a claim here as well. I don't think I can... Yeah, we don't have a case of spilling on her. Okay. Got something. Stag hide, cool. Kidding me? There we go. So, what did we get? Who are you? Oh, this guy again, bro. You just will not give it up. Becomes my nemesis. You just gotta move past it, dude. Okay. So, the twins are of age now. One of them has taken the vows, one of them hasn't. Um, Karen Tanian. Cool, good for you. Oh, that's my niece. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So now we could hybridize with Cisalpine. Um, which I may end up doing at some point. Uh, someone mentioned that, like, like, this is Slovenia, so this would be the culture that we make. But, like, Slovian culture does actually exist. Is, is that not the same thing? Slovian and Slovenian? Uh, I'm, I'm actually not completely sure. Um, but it, it's something that I'm willing to consider doing this. I certainly don't need to do it right away, and no matter what, I'm going to wait for this to finish first. Uh, but now that we've actually taken a piece of Cisalpine land, we could potentially hybridize with them. Greek is always such a good one to hybridize with, too, but it just doesn't seem super relevant to our game. Uh, I did have some Greek land before that I just kind of converted instead. So what are we doing here? It's Cisalpine. We have 44% acceptance with them. Let's raise the control, like always. Uh, I don't think I'll convert it. Crop fields, we have walls, and then we have this thing, which I don't really need. It's actually not on the coast, the castle, so we can't build that. Uh, just switch this to a cattle pasture. Sure, we got the money anyway. Uh, our city's done here, which means we build our castle, five years. Expansion continues. How's the war going here? Oh, she's still very powerful. She's in two wars. Tiny little claim, so her army is probably right there. And then what, what is this other war? It looks like it's just begun. Brabantian claim on a county. How on earth are you still here? This independent lollard duke surrounded by hostile Catholics. Um, somehow not only still existing, but also declaring war and winning, <laughs> apparently. So I think that probably what's happening is her army is down here fighting off this war. Uh, yeah, I don't know how she's losing these wars. She has 6k troops. That, that shouldn't really be happening. Okay, um... We do need a new wet nurse, do we not? Okay. Or want one, rather. Um, yeah, let's give our son, who we had take the vows, the job of court tutor. He's a genius. He'll be good at that. Congrats. Um, so he's still our primary heir for now. We might have to, like, imprison him, force him to take the vows, something like that, later on. But he's not going to go anywhere. Because we, we have him working on a job. This guy is now the guy that we kind of got to do something with. Uh, you can force him to take the vows... Again, will cause tyranny. Again, tyranny doesn't really matter when you don't have vassals. Or we wait for him to... I think it's 10 years. Yeah, 967. We could ask him to take the vows again. So maybe we'll do that. Um, I will give him a job doing something. So we do have a mayor who's pretty young doing that. So maybe we just make this guy uh, Seneschal. It's a little bit pricey. Uh, I guess our income's pretty high. I'm not really utilizing uh, the Seneschal very well because I'm rarely expanding. Uh, right now he can, he can be of use, but in general not, not too useful here. But just, just to keep him around, we'll give him a job. She's already taken the vows. Uh, this guy's next. What did you just get? Oh my god, bro. No. 
Oh, we're passing on all of our terrible traits. She's impatient and shy. <laughs> How did that happen? Why are you the way that you are? Uh, let's just get her arrogant too to, to round this off. What a mess. Oh well. Continue building these. We get a temple here and then that one could have another keep if we wanted. You're full. You're full. This is completely empty, so that's what we're, we're going to do next. Uh, and then this one actually has room for another castle if we wanted as well. It's already got its city and temple built. So how are these guys doing now? Should be giving me a, a little bit more gold as well. Getting more and more temples. 1.2. My wife and duchess, yes. Let your stepmom raise you. Uh, let's convert her. Oh, she's not into it. So I was going to check out what exactly happened with this guy. He ended up marrying her when she was, uh, well, Croatia took that actually, when she was Duchess of Bavaria and they had some kids, patrilineally. So um, there is one boy in here and then there's three daughters and one of them is the one who somehow came into that city of Trieste there. Uh, her little sister... And then her little brother, who looks like he was born posthumously, um, probably, something like that. We can invite him to court. Oh! <laughs> the perfume! It's been, it's been gone, it's now been passed on to him. Do I just take this from him? Give me that. Little two-year-old, you don't need my perfume. This is a family heirloom, been in, been in the family for generations here. Uh, how do I get this? Yeah, there you go. Give that to me. Little punk kid. Uh, there's a lot of crap here. I don't want to get rid of any of my stewardship items, so what if we just got rid of this? And then put the perfume on. Yes, another health benefit. Uh, I made the mistake of giving that to my elder son on my previous character, and then ended up not playing him because the younger son was better but I gave him the item in advance, which he passed on to his son. So I was going to think of giving it to her to give her the health benefit, but we might have the same issue happen. I want to kind of try to avoid that. Uh, wow, I feel like we need a lot more building slots here. That's been, that's been horrible. Ledger. Okay, speaking of which, four years away. Uh, and we're imminently going to get monastic communities, so it should be easier to have these other kids take the vows. Am I really just having everyone take the vows? Um, maybe my eldest son here I will uh, disinherit. Just in case something happens to our daughter, we can uh, re-inherit him and play him. And if we're going to do that, we should probably get him married and, and have him have some kids just as a backup strategy, I guess. I'll try to find him a wife with an inheritable trait. Okay, so not lowborn, not a ruler. We could go for an alliance, but let's just find... Oh, no, you don't see that every day. Pure-blooded. That, that is extremely rare. That would be amazing to pass on. I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, quite difficult, though. You know, let's just do that. If I can have uh, him have a grandson who's intelligent and pure-blooded, then, then maybe... Uh, that's very strange. So that's from inbreeding, I think. Yeah, like his, her, mother and father, both uh, host Akra. For whatever reason. Slain in battle. Killed during a raid. Wow. She is uh, very, very much alone here. And her younger sister executed. So what did you get? You got shy. You should probably be willing to take the vows. 15%. Okay, let's... let's Mark that, 15%, and then when this establishes uh, imminently three months, that kid is going to probably be 100%. Uh, that's 15% with the hook, so we'll see how much that changes. Apparently this is being sieged, actually. 
She's still got a ton of troops. I would like to take that. Uh, monastic communities. Okay. So now that that has established, it's at 90% without the hook uh, and 100% with the hook. So, sorry. No land for you. Who's still in the line of succession here? This kid. No land for you. Uh, and then it's just our two boys here who, this guy, we haven't, uh, we know what we're doing with him, we're probably disinheriting him, and then this guy rejected us. We could always um, let one of them hold this. We're probably going to need a brother to give land to. Can't give a duchy title away, though, until we actually create a kingdom title. So how's this going? This guy's... Uh, I'm kind of getting fed up of having a liege. Not the, not the strongest. Uh, Croatia's kind of humiliating him a little bit here. I, I don't understand what's going on with Croatia. It's just a lot of land in a lot of different places. Where's your actual capital? Oh, okay, I see it there. Um, with no military and three wars. Yeah, this is this is really just a mess. Fran oh my god, look at this. This just, like, it's upsetting. <laughs> this would have been such a good game for me to try to dominate Europe, because it, it's just an absolute mess. Uh, instead, I was trying to, like, see if the HRE could get formed. Oh well. Doesn't always go your way. Um, we do have our claim here now on Italy, so I'm probably in the next part going to try to push that. Well, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> she's a lot stronger than us. I'm going to have a look at it, I guess. She seems to be losing wars despite the fact that she's pretty strong, so I'll try to determine what's going on there. Mm, there you go, she's got a holy order, that's why. Uh, as we continue down here... Um, but I am going to be continuing this on in the next part, though. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.